mentioned image and likeness. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that drew you as far as to, to be a part of it when you know it's gonna be a very difficult topic from state to state, from conference to conference. Have you started to develop the ideas that you have that are best gonna suit the student athletes in this conference or do you look at it from a national perspective to try to put something together so it will benefit all everyone? Yeah, both really and, I, and I'm a big believer that uh, this has to be uh, solved or addressed at a federal level. I mean having these various things from a state by state laws and rules, I mean how do you operate that and from a recruiting standpoint, from an operational standpoint, I think we're opening ourselves up for issues. But it's interesting, some of the conversations I've had with student athletes, which is what I thought, is especially people like you and I who have been on teams, there are so many what I call unattended uh, circumstances that come out of this whole study about money. I mean, if you wanna create an environment to, to corrupt uh, certain relationships, you put money you know, at, the center, at the center of the table. But in talking to some of these young student athletes who are very mature, their big concern is that what does it do to some of the Olympic sports? You know, what does it do to Title IX? With some of their friends who may be on a woman's soccer team, will those sports have to go away? You know, who gets the money on the team? You know, what happens if a, uh, the star quarterback gets the money and is injured? Do they take the money back away? Who represents that person? Who documents the contract? What happens if that third party doesn't play? All of those different, you know, different issues are, are we have to deal with. And that's why I'm a big believer that we have to sit down collectively, come up with a solution uh, that works for everyone. Is the current model working in the best way that it should? No, or we wouldn't be having these discussions. But I think it's during this time period that is going to allow us to address some of these issues that we're facing, the transfer rule. You know, why is it that some sports that predominantly are occupied by people of color that you have to sit out a year? And some of the other sports that, uh, that typically have not been played by people of color that you can transfer and play right away. I'm not saying what's right or wrong, but we have to address those issues. We need to continually put our student athletes in the Big Ten and really in all the college sports at the center of our discussion. So when people ask me what do I feel about college football expansion, I, I would say that what's in the best interest of the student athletes. If that's our son, you have a son playing college football, I have a son playing college football. So in our son's best interest, is it, is it okay if they add two more games onto their schedule from a physical standpoint, from a mental standpoint, from an emotional standpoint, primarily from an academic standpoint? Those are the conversations. What do players think? I mean, you know, maybe we should talk with them, but these are the things that as we make these decisions, every decision that I make in this building, I start with, if that were my son or daughter, and I happen to have one, how will this decision impact them? When will they take their final exams? When will they study? What will it do to them physically? What will it do to them emotionally? What will it do to them mentally? You know, the length of the season, the training, all the demands, those are all the things we have to decide. And so whether it's me just being a very positive person, I'm not really worried about reaching a resolution on these issues because if we make sure that the student athlete, the health and wellness, the mental health and wellness of the student athlete is at the core of all of our decisions, all of these issues from name, image, and likeness, to a college football playoff expansion, to the transfer rule, to all these issues will be resolved in, in, a, in a manner that everyone will be happy with because we'll make sure we'll be doing it what's in the best interest of the student athlete.